Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another video. If I look a bit sweaty uh, throughout this video, it's because it's really hot right now in Denmark. Uh, so, a lot of you guys have asked me to make a dragonfly tutorial, so that's what this is. Five steps uh, on how to learn the dragonfly. Five different progressions, five different exercises. And the dragonfly, of course, is a great exercise, also great for learning the front lever. I would say it's necessary to learn the front lever. This video, by the way, is brought to you in collaboration with Shaping You Tomorrow, uh, one of my longtime partners, actually. I've been working with them for over a year now. So if you're like me, if you live an active uh, lifestyle and you do a lot of different things and you, if you have school as well, I study sports science at university myself, so even at you know my university we have different activities we need to do. And it's so it's it's just important for me to always feel like I can move. Um, it feels like jocking clothing. Their new collection is really cool and uh, I'll be wearing it for the rest of the video. So now let's begin with the dragonfly tutorial. The first exercise is very basic but very important. You need to be able to hold this for about 30 seconds before moving on. So this is a static hold where you lie on your uh, lower back and your upper back and legs are not supposed to touch the ground. And it's actually harder than it sounds. Also, I want to mention that as you probably know, as you probably heard me say before if you've been following me for a while, when it comes to abs, because that's one of the questions I get the most, like, oh, how did you get your abs and all that? Um, first of all, of course, it's all about fat percentage mostly. Um, but if we talk about strength and if we talk about some sort of like muscle building in your core area, which is possible but not what's really important, that's the fat percentage again. Uh, but if you, if you want to gain strength and size just in general, it doesn't help to do sit-ups. Like some people, I see people do like uh, 100 sit-ups and all that, doesn't help for shit. <laughs> like, you need to find exercises which are actually really tough for you, and I hope these exercises can be some of them. Uh, and especially the dragonfly exercise in itself is really good. And time under tension is important as well, which you'll get with these exercises. So, but yeah, that was the first exercise. Now the second exercise is the advanced plank. And this is not something I've seen a lot of other people recommend. It's kind of something I made up, but, but of course, a lot of other people have probably made this exercise up as well. So you go in your normal plank position and then you move down as far as you can. And this will make it a lot harder for your core as well. And also it will activate your lats, which is really important actually in the dragonfly exercise. So this is also in general, just a way to make your plank a lot harder. And as you know, if you wanna gain strength and, and size, you wanna make the exercises as hard as possible not make them easy, okay? But of course, not too hard as well. Uh, so you can find your own, uh, you know, sweet spot. Like if, if you can have it all, all the way out here, that's pretty cool. And, and if you can only have it here, that's great as well. And the third exercise, now we're more at the, you know, dragonfly steps. First of all, you wanna get comfortable with just getting up and lying on, on your upper back uh, like that. And then once you feel comfortable, try bringing your knee up to your stomach. Uh, that will, you know, place more of your mass around the center of your body and that will, will make the exercise a lot easier. And then you just try to go slowly down. That's, you know, really important with these next three, the last three exercises here, is that you want to work with them, you know, as negatives. You want to do the eccentric part. So you want to start up and then go down as slowly as you can and one day you feel like really motivated and you feel like you're super strong today, then try if you can do the concentric part of the exercise. That's, that means you can go down and then see if you can go back up uh, once you feel ready for it. But start with this one. And the fourth one is frog leg dragonfly. I just made that up. We can call it a diamond dragonfly as well. It's pretty much a straddle uh, dragonfly but with your knees bent. So this is a really good exercise. Keep your core tight and move down and see if you can get back up. It's the same principle as before. And the last one of course is the straddle dragonfly. For this one it's really good if you uh, start stretching more. Uh, the more you can go into a split, as you probably know if you've been following my, my Instagram, um, you know I'm on a split journey. I really want to learn to do the split. 
and you know it makes everything a lot easier if you can go more in you know into a, a, a larger straddle um, then because of your was it what is that called in English even the center of mass I, I think it would be called uh, is higher up in your body and that just makes the exercise easier and uh, like and the, and if you have your legs together, like as the full dragonfly, of course, it's a lot harder. But the more you can go into straddle and spread your legs, the, the easier uh, it will be. So I hope this could help with your dragonfly and also your front lever in the end. Let me know if you have any other requests. Um, I haven't been posting so much lately. A lot of stuff has been going on uh, in my family and, and stuff like that, uh, which is pretty personal. Uh, but that's why I haven't been posting much lately, but I'm gonna be posting more So yeah, let me know in the comments what you want to see and what you thought of this video and make sure to leave a like if you want to support the channel and Check out shaping new tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next video